So today I'm gonna to be sharing some of my hidden drugstore gems. Most of these products are under $10. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today we are going back to the drugstore. I couldn't wait to share some of my hidden drugstore gems that are mostly under $10. I found some really fantastic deals that nobody is talking about. So I thought I'd share them with you. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. How you doing? So yeah, I'm feeling much better this week. Uh, my allergies are a little bit better. Yes, and I've been a soccer mom this week. It's been really fun. Ava started out her season. They're 0 and 2, is that how you say it? No, 2 and 0, they, they've been losing, okay? <laughs> but bless her heart, she's really into soccer and she's really happy and it's fun to see her compete and that camaraderie on the team. But yeah, so how have you been doing? I need some coffee. Yes, let's have some coffee. Mm -hmm. Some of these products are tried and true. Some of these products that I've really been loving and I, that I don't really talk about a lot, but today's the day I wanted to share them with you. So yeah, let's start out with primer. Now we all know the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter can double as a primer, as a highlighter, even as a foundation. But today I'm gonna use it as my primer. It just provides your complexion a nice, healthy glow. This retails for $14. I think this is the most expensive thing that we're gonna be using today because like I said, a lot of these products are under $10. And I'm just gonna apply it where I wanna have a healthy glow and some hydration. And I'm just gonna apply it with my fingertips just to smooth out my pores give myself a nice healthy glow. I feel like my skin has not been looking really great lately. I've been trying to hydrate, I've been trying to eat healthier, but yeah, I know a lot of people have been loving this, including myself, but yeah. And of course it is the dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I prefer this actually more than the Charlotte Tilbury because it just seems to have a little bit more coverage, a little bit more of a softer glow. Very, very pretty, okay. Now that I've got my primer on, I'm gonna go in with, this is so good, and I know I've talked about this before on my channel, but it's been a minute since I've used it. It is from Wet n Wild. It is their Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. Retails for around five to six dollars. The shade range is not so great, but this is a fantastic tinted hydrator that's affordable, that looks beautiful, skin-like on the complexion. Put some on the back of my hand. It kind of has like a thicker consistency, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the center of my face and use my fingertips. Now, the only caveat to this, it does have an odd scent like Play-Doh, but it does go away rather quickly. I'm gonna go in with a foundation brush and this is the BK Beauty 101 and just tap it in. It just looks so pretty on the skin. I can't believe this retails for five to six dollars. It is crazy. This even rivals high-end tinted hydrators. You just get a beautiful, soft, light to medium coverage that looks like your skin. It's not heavy whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and apply it through here. And I love how lightweight it is on the skin as well. And I love how it has skin loving ingredients too. But I think the combination of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and this foundation just really provides a juicy, youthful complexion. This is probably one of my all-time favorite tinted hydrators, and that's including high-end makeup as well. If you wanna build it up, you can do that. It doesn't get cakey. It just really looks natural. Oh, so beautiful. And you can build it up. It just lays so pretty on the skin. And now I'm gonna go in with concealer. This has been my all-time favorite drugstore concealer for at least the last couple of months, and I've been preferring it over my high-end concealers. It's from Honest Beauty. It is their Fresh Flex Concealer. You know I've been talking about this a lot. This is a hidden drugstore gem. I don't know why nobody's talking about it, but I feel it just adds beautiful coverage while not settling into the fine lines. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a tiny dot right through here and then right where I want to lift and right where I get a little red, right under my nose. And I'm just going to take the heat of my ring, ring finger and tap it in. And it just blends out so beautifully and it just blends out so quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and take a dampened beauty sponge and just tap that in. Look how pretty that 
concealer is. It is blending beautifully with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. So I did pick up a new bronzer that I've been absolutely loving and it's from Physicians Formula. It is their bronze booster. It has like the seasons on there. I don't know if you can see that. Doubles as a highlighter as well as a bronzer, but they're, it's just so buttery and creamy. But at first I wanna go in with my favorite cream bronzer. It is from Revolution. You know I love this. If it ain't broke, then don't fix it. But this is their cream bronzer and I've been absolutely loving it. It comes in two shades. You can get it at Target or where they sell Revolution makeup. It retails for $7.99. And I just love the creamy consistency. It just applies so beautifully on the complexion. Now that it's getting cooler here in Tennessee, I want my skin to be hydrated. I want it to be plump. And to blend it out, I'm gonna go in with the new BK Core Extensions brush, the 111. This is their bronzer brush. It's a little denser, but it just applies and blends out that bronzer for a really natural sun-kissed look. And now for cream blush. I found this at Walmart the other day and I could not believe how good this cream blush is. You know I love cream blushes because they don't add any additional texture to our mature skin, but I was totally blown away by the AF94 cream blush. It comes in a stick and it comes in a variety of shades. First of all, it's a beautiful creamy texture and the pigment is so pretty let me swatch it for you but it just looks like a soft natural rose shade to me oh my gosh and you can apply it with your fingertips i'm going to be using the new 109 brush from the core extensions line from bk beauty i just take a little bit on my brush and just tap it into my complexion just like that and it just look at that shade isn't it beautiful I love this blush. It is so natural looking. It really applies beautifully. It's like $8 if that, and they have so many other beautiful shades, but for some reason, Playdate just really hook, line, and sinker, baby. It looks so natural on the complexion. Fantastic cream blush, AF94. I don't even know what the significance of AF94 is, but super affordable, super pretty on the skin. Isn't that pretty for eyeshadow? A couple of videos ago, I tested out this blush, self-adjusting pH balance blush that applies clear and then it adjusts to your pH and it turns a natural flushy pink. Well, that was from Hard Candy, so I wanted to check out their eyeshadows and I was so pleasantly surprised when I picked up their eyeshadow bare monochrome eyeshadow palettes. It's very reminiscent of the e.l.f. Bite Size Crush palettes. These are super cute. They retail for $3.97 and the pigment is surprising surprisingly good. I'm going to go in with this lightest shade through here. It's a matte shade and I'm just going to throw it all over the lid. It has surprisingly fantastic pigment. So easy to throw onto the lid for those one and done looks. I'm going to go in with the deeper shade through here, taking a tiny bit, tapping off the excess. And what's amazing is that there's no kickback or fallout. And I'm going to go right above my crease and just blend it back and forth. And you're going to be so surprised of the pigment of this eyeshadow palette. It is so pretty. I can't believe it's $3.97. I'm gonna take my fingertips and go in with this beautiful, almost bronzy shade right through here. Take it on my fingertip and I'm just gonna put it right on the lid. Isn't that beautiful? It just applied so beautifully. It's very creamy. I'm really shocked how good these eyeshadows are. I really am. And now I'm gonna use the lightest shade through here. I'm gonna take it on my Sigma inner corner brush, tap off the excess. I'm just gonna pop it into the inner corner. Yeah, we used all four shades in this nifty little palette from Hard Candy. Now for mascara today, I wanted to try something new. I know, I always wanna try something new. I know these are supposed to be my hidden drugstore gems, but maybe this will be a new hidden drugstore gem for us today. It is from Wet n Wild. It is their Mega Volume Mascara. I think this retails for like $3.97. It's supposed to boost your volume. 10 out of 10 saw lifted lashes. Eight out of 10 saw thicker, looking lashes. Well, I'm all for it. Smudge proof, ophthalmologist tested, safe for contact lens wearers. So yeah, let's open it up. This is the Mega Volume Mascara. Okay, so far I like the wand. It looks like a traditional wand. I'm just gonna go in. And... Hmm, is there anything in there? Hello? Okay, 
Okay, this is a very thick formula that I really don't care for, but you know how mascaras can be when you first open them up. They're not really good. You have to give it like a week or so. It's not bad. It's really not that bad. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to keep playing with it for a while and see how I like it. Yeah, that's not a bad mascara. Very pretty. Now, I want to go in with this bronzer from Physicians Formula, the Bronze Booster. First of all, the packaging is so adorable. It has all the seasons on there, and I think you can use it like as a bronzer slash highlighter. I want to take this new brush from the Core Extensions. It is the Small Angled Face Brush, and I'm going to swirl it. Oh, wow, kickback. And it also smells, it smells kind of yummy. And I'm just gonna swirl it in there, tap off the excess. And I just wanna brush it right through here. Oh, this brush is so soft. And then see what kind of highlight slash bronzy action we're getting. It's very subtle, but I like that. And I think that's pretty on mature skin. And I recently haven't been wearing a lot of highlighter because sometimes it calls attention to your imperfections on your complexion. But this bronzer slash highlighter is so soft and buttery. It just adds a little bit of that shine. It's just so smooth and pretty. This is beautiful. This retails for like $11 at Walmart. Physicians Formula is well known for their butter bronzers, but this one I feel is so unique and so pretty. It's so soft on the skin. It's very smoothing on the complexion too beautiful. Okay, now for lips. I found a beautiful matte liquid lip from Walmart and it's from the same company AF94, the cream blush that I absolutely love. Oh my gosh, super matte, super beautiful. They come in a great range of colors. I picked up the shade Just a Crush. Gotta love these names. I love these names, but I tested this out all week. It's just a smooth, well, let me just put it on. Oh my gosh, majorly matte liquid lip and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. First of all, the texture of this liquid lip is so smooth, so light, it's not sticky whatsoever, and it just glides right on. Now it's drying, it's, it's starting to dry, but this is so beautiful on the lips. I love the shade, Just A Crush. They have lots of other shades, but for some reason this shade is just so gorgeous on the lips. It looks really smoothing too. It's matte, it's not drying whatsoever, and the longevity of this liquid lip is fantastic. I wore it all day on Tuesday, went to the soccer game, watched Ava played soccer, and this hung in there. It is so beautiful, so smoothing, and I think this is like $8, and like I said, I got it at Walmart. This is such a hidden gem. I don't know why nobody's talking about this. This is like way better than a lot of the high-end products that I've tried, Liquid Lips. Just a Crush is a stunning shade. I think it would flatter a lot of skin tones. It's just that beautiful berry tone. It's Absolutely stunning, but yes, you need to run and check out AF94. I don't know why they, have, it's such a weird name, but fantastic prices, fantastic products. I know they have liners, mascaras, lip liners, they have gloss, but yeah, totally in love with the AF94. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with the Catrice Poreless Perfection Powder. This is drugstore, it's affordable, it's so good, and it does exactly what it says. It is the Poreless Perfection Powder. I'm gonna take it on my flat, my small flat powder brush and just take a little bit and I'm just gonna set my under eye right through here. This is such a great little setting powder and I don't know why people are not talking about it. It's so good. And it just sets that concealer beautifully. And this brush is fantastic. And I'm just setting my T-zone and through there. This is a great setting powder. It is the universal shade. And there you have it. Here we are with the final look. You guys, these are such great hidden drugstore gems. Like I said, I don't know why not a lot of people are talking about these products, particularly the brand AF94. Fantastic lip products, cheek products. They're so affordable, they're so accessible. Like I said, I did get these at Walmart. You go to Walmart, you know you gotta go to Walmart anyway. So check out the AF94 makeup. It is so shockingly good. This performs like a high-end liquid matte lipstick. It is so stunning on the lips, it doesn't show my lines in my lips. I mean, I got lines in my lips, but so smoothing and beautiful. So if you're looking for an affordable, beautiful liquid matte lipstick, 
definitely check out AF94. Absolutely love their cream blush. I'm in the shade Playdate. Super convenient. Go to, You know you gotta go to Walmart, so just go check it out. So affordable. And of course, love the little mini eyeshadow quads from Hard Candy. This is the Bare Monochrome Shadows Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. Super easy to create this everyday look. Super wearable. I absolutely love the quality, the pigment. It was super easy to blend out. And it retails for $3.97. So the next time you're in the drugstore, check out these hidden gems. They're so affordable, they're so beautiful, especially especially on mature skin. I think this look is so pretty and so wearable for every day. And we saved a lot of money and that's what I love doing. I love hidden drugstore gems. What is your favorite hidden drugstore makeup product? Please share with us down in the comments section so we can help each other out here. But yeah, I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of our family. In case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mahal kita. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.